Hey, welcome back to Mass Tag Monday. This week we're looking at Don Post Studios' Wicket W. Warwick, named partly for Warwick Davis, who played him in the movie. Now, he wasn't in the 83 catalog when the movie came out, but he had this flyer, which he was prominently featured on, and he came out in the 84 and 85 catalogs, of course, and you didn't see him much after that, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But they did come in these really cool display boxes, which looked great in the store. Don Post had introduced these boxes the previous year for their other masks, such as Star Wars and E.T. and Gremlins, I believe, also. Unfortunately, it caused a lot of these masks to have this crunched neck years later. So you'll see a lot of these Ewok masks that are probably in good shape, but the necks are just gone. The sculptural details are really nice. The stippling on the hood. The leather straps have a realistic look to them. It almost looks like they used actual leather straps in the clay and just molded it. And the flow of the hair is very traditional. Looks really realistic. It's a really nice mask. Now, he was not in 86 or 87 catalog at all, but he showed up in 88 and suddenly he had fur. And he would stay furry from 89 to 94 until 95 he showed up in the catalog without fur so i don't know if somebody made a mistake lost the picture who knows but let's check out the furry version now it looks a lot meaner than the rubber version in my opinion and this time don post studios is really gearing up for the 20th anniversary of star wars so they had totally separate catalogs for all their star wars masks at this time so 96 97 98 99 and 2000, which had the Episode 1 masks, they had completely separate catalogs for all the Star Wars stuff coming out. And something I noticed while doing this video is that the mask had totally been retooled. The furry version has a completely smooth face, unlike the texture you can still see inside the rubber version. So it made it much easier to attach the fur to it, which was pretty, pretty smart on their part. Now, also, going back to the 80s, Ben Cooper had some other choices for Wicket costumes and masks. Not quite as cool as Don Post. And if you're really cool, maybe your mom or your grandma might have made you this McCall's Ewok costume from a pattern. Now, my sister-in-law did wear one of these to school, and I have this costume somewhere in my collection Someday I will dig it out and make an Ewok skin rug or something out of it. But I could not include it in this video, unfortunately. Now, Ben Cooper also did a rubber version with fur, which is not quite as cool, but I'm sure it was a, probably a third of the price of the Don Post one. So, what do you think? If you had the chance to wear an Ewok mask as a kid, would you have? Or you just hated Ewoks so much? that you would not ever wear one. Let me know in the comments, and we'll see you next week. Like and subscribe.